The military has always been a special force in responding to internal threats in the country. This was evident today as Defense Cabinet Secretary Eden Duale announced the deployment of Kenya Defense Forces to the disturbed North Rift in a Gazette notice. The deployment is in support of the National Police Service in response to the security emergency in Turukana, West Pokot, El Geo Marakwet, Baringo, Laikipi and Samburu counties caused by rampant incidents of banditry. Mimi naunga mkono kwa sababu kila kitu iko na consequences. Tumeongea hapa, tumeimba at the same time, his interior counterpart Kithure Kindiki announced a dust dawn curfew in affected counties for a period of 30 days, starting 14th February 2023. All this is aimed at settling the security situation in the disturbed region. But what does military deployment mean? Will this settle the situation? If the defense forces will join us in ensuring that those with even intention of causing instability within this um, area or part of North Rift does not continue, does not happen at all. There are fears from all quarters that the move will see innocent citizens targeted since it is hard to tell who a bandit is. However, some locals feel the move to deploy KDF will sort out the mess. But for how long? We cannot allow a bandit criminals uh, to gain courage and start uh, injuring, uh, shooting, maiming our officers. The military operation will be led by GOC, General Officer Commanding Major General David Tarus of the Western Command. The multi-agents operation will officially kick off tomorrow, even as the Inspector General of the National Police Service, Jafet Kome, held a consultative meeting at Kainuk in Turukana County with various command leaders to finalize on their preparations. We deal firmly and decisively with those criminals. They have, they have no option. As this was happening, at least three border patrol unit officers were killed as their motor vehicle ran over an IED device along the Dab Garissa Road. The worrying situation in the North Rift has seen interior CS Kidure Kindiki lead several operations in the field to tame in security elements. Experts, however, say this has to be done in terms of intelligence, coordination and addressing issues affecting affected areas like infrastructure and development. Franklin Wala, K24 TV.